Uh, I'm holding this. All right. So my topic is a case for longer hackathons. I love hackathons, but I feel like there is a reason they should be longer. I'm going to go into what purposes they serve right now and why those purposes could be better served if they were conducted over a longer period of time. So first off, I'm going to roadmap and tell you guys what I'm going to be talking about. First off, why do we hold hackathons? We're going to go into the main reasons companies and universities hold these events. What doesn't work, what actually happens, and what the issues are, and what I think we should do instead. So why do we hack? First off, time pressure breeds, breeds innovation, right? We hack to innovate. When you have to do a major task in a short period of time, you're bound to come up with an innovative solution. And that's one of the reasons we hold hackathons. Uh, the second reason is to, is to help people learn. So there are a lot of events throughout hackathons where you're learning a new language or um, learning a new function or something of the sort. And that's one of the reasons a lot of attendees um, attend hackathons in order to either brush up or create new skills. And the last one is to build community. By interacting with people uh, over a sustained 24 hour period, you're kind of forming a team that, um, and you're forming bonds that you would not have had otherwise. So what actually happens? What I've noticed in most of the hackathons is that almost everyone is a comp sci major, right? You have a couple of UI, UX, and designers sprinkled in, but that's about it. You wouldn't find a finance person or anyone else at that hackathon. Projects remain incomplete. You work on it until you get to an MVP, you have it judged, and then you move on. It never gets to market. It never actually creates the change that you're hoping, um, that you're hoping for when you're making that thing. And every time you go into a new hackathon, you're working on something new. You aren't really working on what you're passionate about. You're really only working on something that will get you a prize from a sponsor. Something of that sort. And lastly, innovation never sees the light of day. Um, it never goes to market. It never actually goes out and helps people it's supposed to. Okay. <laughs> this awkward boss Clinton didn't talk about. <laughs> Right, so I guess other things I could mention here would be that when you're, so, okay, guess not, guess not. Okay, innovation can be hacked, right? So if you're actually trying to innovate, you have to have a specific client in mind. You have to create a solution that is catered specifically to them. And that's something that you can't do in 24 hours because you don't have the interaction with other people. There's not a lot of learning because if you only have 24 hours, you aren't going to, work on a language that you are unfamiliar with. You're just going to do what you know already. And the last one is, I'm going to go ahead here. Um, you attract people with very similar skills, right? So if you are someone who doesn't know how to code and you go into a hackathon, chances are someone who's an expert coder isn't going to want you on their team, and even if you're very good at ops or strategy or something else. So what do I think we should be able to do instead? Long-term hackathons are the solution. So. By long-term hackathons, I mean hackathons that span over 24 hours, maybe in different bursts of hackathons. So maybe the first round, you would create an MVP. The second round, you would do something else. And why does this work? This works because you're helping take the innovation that you've created um, in 24 hours and actually bring it to market and actually find customers for it. And that's something that they're currently missing. Um, you also learn a lot more because you're working on all these different parts of starting a startup essentially. And that's something you wouldn't have gotten if you'd only like created a bunch of code and that's it. Um, you learn about different stages like crowdfunding, everything you need to know to start a business. And also, this fosters collaboration, because, because when you have to start a startup, you're not just looking at coders, you're looking at designers, you're looking at people who can handle operations, everything along the way. And you're creating a community that is, uh, that is creating innovation. So my solution would be a tiered hackathon system, right? So you would have round one where you'd maybe do MVP, Round two, where you'd learn how to get funding. Round three would be another iteration of it and figuring out where exactly in the market it will fit. And how do we incentivize people to go through this entire process? By making the prices more valuable as you move forward. So um, when you have an MVP, the price should be a certain thing. But when you're actually starting a business, it needs to be something else. And to conclude, hackathons, I love hackathons, but they could be a lot better. They could create a lot more value for society. And I think that's something that we should be focusing on. And I think this is a special audience for that, just because you guys are often corporate sponsors for hackathons. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'd love to chat with you. Sorry about the few goof-ups. You did great.